In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the back in stock flow for Clavio. So you want to go over here to flows and then from here you want to go down to browse ideas and type in uh, out of stock or back in stock. I'd recommend doing this instead of creating your own because this has like all the presets in it to make it easier for you. So you've got a VIP and non VIP flow. So this is um, we'll split them or you can just do standard. I'm going to do standard here. So this flow requires first installing Clavio's special back in stock snippet. So you're going to have to install that. And essentially the way that you're going to install that is you need to go online store themes, click your themes actions, drop down and select edit code, search for theme.liquid file and click open in the editor. Now this might be different if you're on a weird theme, so I would try and do this on a default theme to stop any issues. Copy the JavaScript snippet below and paste it into your theme.liquid file directly above the body tag. So you can do it in the head or before head or after head, just before body. So copy this, uh, paste it into that file. And what you're going to need to do here, replace public key, API key. So here you need to go into your Clavio account and you need to put yours in there. So the way you get your API key is you go to settings and go to account and then API keys and it'll be here. So you want the private one, you click this little eye icon and it's going to give you your API key. Now, once you've put that in there, you can hit save. Um, and then you should, that should set up your, the snippet for that. So we can go back to the, um, the flow itself. So we can just click create flow here and if someone subscribed to the back in stock flow, so for example, you've got some chocolate bars that are out of stock on your site, someone can click subscribe for like notify me when they're back in stock and that's what's going to trigger it. You can also change filters on here, whatever. So wait until recipient's item of interest is back in stock. So if we put the chocolates back in stock and they've signed up for the chocolates, that's going to send them this email. So now coming down to the email here, smart sending, I would recommend turning smart sending off, keep it off because um, your this only happens once and you want to kind of override uh, in not sending. Basically smart sending won't send if you've got, if they've received another email within like 24 hours. So from here we can go to edit, and the wait is over is it's okay subject line, but you can change it to something. Something that's worked for me is like um, this bestseller is finally back in stock. And then for the preview text, you could put something like grab it before it sells out again. So just add a little bit of urgency there. Um, but yeah, just fiddle around with it. Also, where it says name up here, they can't see this is just um, for your referencing. So now we can go to edit email. And I would just put something, finally, this item is back in stock. Grab it before it sells out here. Put a link to it, put a photo to it here. Um, this is also going to, this is all dynamic. So this will change based upon um, the item, which is good. So you don't have to change it every single different product. Now, this is also going to be a dynamic URL, meaning that if, a, if you have like five different items that are out of stock, the one that goes in stock is going to be linked here and the photos are going to be here. It's a dynamic photo, um, which is really good. It means you don't have to make different flows for each of them. Alternatively, you could do campaigns, but this is just a good automated way to do it. So save and exit. You can preview it and then whatever, but I'm going to hit done. Now, um, from here, you can press live. And that's going to turn this flow on. Um, exit it. And you can see that boom, it's live and it's ready to go. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and comment down below that helped. Thank you for watching.